Are you at all concerned about Saquon being ready without getting a snap in the preseason? No, I think Saquon's got a good good amount of work this training camp, um, you know, especially being in the pads as much as you were. And um, those guys did a really nice job, I think, getting into the flow of the game. And, you know, Barkley's a, he's a veteran guy, so, um, you know, I don't think it'll be, take too long to get adjusted to that. Do you see anything different, better, or anything about Saquon this summer than you, than you saw last year? Just, I mean, obviously, with a very productive year last year. Yeah, but he came in in great shape. He jumped right into the mix and got um, you know got caught up to all the stuff that we were doing on offense. And he's done a great job. He's first and foremost he's a captain, so he's one of those guys that that you look for from a leadership standpoint. And so he's you know he's he's working. He's setting the standard for the offense, and he's part of that group that's doing that. How much do you think uh, them adding a corner like Gilmore can change what they'll do defensively? Say that again. How much do you think them adding Gilmore can change what they do defensively? You know that that's that's always the that's always the question going into week one. You know, there's there's things that you look on tape from what they did last year. You're not really 100% sure on what they're going to do this year. So, you know, you, you put in your base rules and you put in your um, your schemes that you think you can go and attack. And then, at the end of the day, it's how fast can we adjust to the things that they're presenting? Mike, is that uncertainty that you're talking about? Is that more advantage offense or advantage defense? I think it just goes both ways. I think we got to have enough stuff to to adjust to if they if they present a couple different couple different looks. But um, you know, it's just part of getting to the flow of the game a little bit. Do you have to make any concessions or adjustments <clears throat> starting a rookie center, um, or do you say he earned the job? He's now we have to treat him like everybody else. Yeah, you, you look at all all the players, not just you know one in particular. Look at all the players and make sure you put them in a in a good position to where they can play fast and confident. And uh, you know, I think that's probably an emphasis for a lot of teams around week one is let's go out there, let's go play fast, let's play confident, and give our guys stuff that they know. Do you look at it as you have three starting receivers who play the majority of snaps, or do you look at maybe rolling through five or six guys deep more so than you would? If there was a bigger talent gap, I'd say just each week's going to be a little bit different. This week's in that kind of that same boat. We're, we're trying to mix in our guys and and make sure we're giving them the stuff that they're that they're that they're good at, and you know trying to maximize on their strengths as much as we possibly can. Parsons and uh, Mark had a lot of success in the two matchups last year. Just how much are you looking to combat you know their pass rush and how dangerous their pass rush can be? Yeah, those guys are those guys are really talented players. They um, they're really good in, in the run game. They're really good in the pass game. They have a lot of production. So you see them you see them all over the field. There they have good position flexibility where they can play inside. They can play outside. Um, you know, standing up at linebacker. So there, there's a lot of flexibility there. So we got to make sure we know where they're at in every play. How confident are you that this year you can handle them better than you know, perhaps you did last year? Yeah, that's what that's what we're working to, towards right now is, you know, this week in practice, putting in, making sure we're tightening up our fundamentals and our techniques and putting our guys in a position to be successful. How much do you look at it as, you know, we saw what happened last year, Evan Neal had a rough game, or do you look at it as, oh, he's basically like a totally different player because Know, the improvements that he's made and how you go and mm -hmm. want, maybe want to approach that. Yeah, you're, you're always um, self evaluating You're always going back and looking at things that we could have done better as a staff, as a coaching staff, as players. And that's what you work on all offseason. That's what you work on all training camp. And even throughout this week of prep, you're building on those things that we did really well. And then anything that we need to adjust and improve on, then we'll, we'll address that as well. Mike, when the player like Saquon says he'd like to be involved more in the passing game, do you guys listen to that? And do you make adjustments and have conversations to maybe increase his role in that area? Yeah, I mean, we're again, we're always improving in any of those little areas. So whether it's um, you know a running back wanted to be a little bit more out in, in, the, in the pass game or a receiver wanted to be more back in the run game or all the different you know, different positions, you want to improve on each player. And if they have that, that we think is a strength that we can build on and use them, then we will. If we don't, then we won't. We all talk a lot about how much better Daniel can be in, in Dave's, in your system. How much better can Saquon be in year two of that, do you think? I just, I think really my, my main focus is just on this week, not looking, you know, too far ahead. Focus on this week, let's get better today. Uh, today at practice, let's get better and work on our fundamentals and and work the plan, work work the um, work all the things that we're building for the Cowboys that 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 we need to use. So I think that's what, kind of where I'm at right now with it. How much have we seen anything? We all know we talked about Evan Neal a little bit, but I want to go back to him for a second. We know he said this was like last year's Dallas game was the worst game he had ever played. Have you sensed anything from him this week 
just in terms of how much this means to him and also you know how confident are you when it comes to maybe leaving him out there on I think I think you know where you, you you go through the game planning part of it and you're building all those plays and again you you want to build as much confidence in guys as you can I think you know going into approaching a game you want to have as much confidence so that's what that's what we're building as a staff we want to make sure our guys have no doubt they can go out there and execute the stuff that we're giving them and then again making the adjustments the in-game adjustments and minor tweaks that we have to so that we continue to play well mike whenever people bring up speed it's always the, the idea of vertical speed how much does <clears throat> the speed that you added can kind of make a difference all over the field and not just basically the yeah yeah, it's certain. I think it's certainly um, certainly a threat. You know, you, when you have guys that can kind of run sideline to sideline, run vertically, um, it allows you to displace the defense a little bit differently. So those are all those are all great assets that our players have. I think when a lot of people look at what you guys did last year, they say, "Well, Daniel threw only 15 touchdown passes. Mm -hmm. He didn't throw down the ball down the field that much. How much?" Do you think people should just expect naturally that the numbers are going to come with it now that he, he does have more pieces around and that you know, he might, you know, be yeah, able to potentially you know, have that speed to throw the ball down the field? Yeah, I think the, uh, you know, the comparisons from last year to this year, like that was in the past. I think right now we're focused on we're focused on Dallas and trying to you know improve ourselves today in practice and work all the schemes that we work throughout OTAs and training camp. And if those things fit for what the game plan um, determines for this week, then they fit and those are things that we'll use. You better yeah, score. Where have you seen Jalen Hyatt improve the most from the time you got here till obviously mm -hmm. we stand here today? Yeah, he's, I think he's getting more confident in himself, just um, being inserted into the offense and identifying the things that you know we're gonna ask him to do on a week to week basis. So, you know, he's a young player, he's learning, he's growing. But he's taking all the necessary steps. He's spending extra time watching tape, spending extra time reviewing. And so, um, you know, from my standpoint, from my chairs, you know, I'm looking at that and saying, this kid's he's look, he's he's eager to improve and he's eager to to work out those things. And you're seeing it show up on on practice. Do better, do better skill players make for a better offensive line in your mind? I think I think it's a on offense. It's a 11 man operation. Like all, everyone's got to be so in tune to it. Everyone's got to be working on the same page. Because if you get a breakdown really anywhere, um, you know, then the play kind of falls apart. So we got to make sure that all 11 guys are working together on this. And and so it's not one particular guy or how, you know, how fast one particular group is or or not. So you know, it's a really 11 man operation as far as how I see it. Have you come to a decision on whether you're going to rotate the guards? So sorry, say that again. Have you come to the decision on whether you're going to have two starting guards or rotate them? Or? Um, that's you know, those are things that we're talking about. And again, Dave's will. Dave's will make that the final decision on that one. Yeah, you have to ask Dave's about it. Okay.